The man who fashions himself as the new sultan of a revived Ottoman Empire has big dreams. And one of them could well be to build an Islamic army against the state of Israel. A Turkish newspaper closely allied with President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and his ruling party published an article in December entitled, A Call for Urgent Action. The Middle East Media Research Institute reports it's the brainchild of one of Erdogan's closest advisors. It looks like a blueprint for an Islamic military action against Israel. It calls on the 57 Muslim nations of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, or OIC, to launch a joint military operation against Israel. Such an army would be mammoth. The OIC nations together make up more than a billion and a half people. Whether the plan for a Muslim army to move against Israel is a serious threat or not, the fact there are voices calling for such action is alarming. The fact that it comes from persons close to Erdogan, even more alarming. And those voices in the Islamic world are not likely to go away. <laughs> Well, that new turkey appears to be a throwback to the very, very old turkey. 
As Prime Minister Davutoglu said in 2015 that Turkey will, quote, refound the Ottoman state, or as a parliamentarian tweeted, quote, the 90-year-long commercial break of a 600-year-old empire is now over. This is not just about Turkey becoming more overtly Muslim. This is about using Islam as a unifying force in the region and using historical precedent to reclaim land that once belonged to the Ottomans. Erdogan is painting the modern international struggle as a conflict between Islam and the West, the Ummah, and Christendom. And the April 16th referendum was confirmation of this view. President Erdogan now has all the trappings of an imperial ruler. The dictatorial powers, the religious underpinnings, control of the media, and even a royal palace. With this referendum, Turkey has revived the Ottoman Empire in all but name. Turkey is the strongest military power, military might in the region. It's the second largest army in NATO. And the statements coming out of Turkey should be very concerning to Americans. Erdogan is saying 1.5 billion Muslims are waiting for the Turkish government to arrive. So what do we take from this? Friends, Daniel 11.45 is a marker for us to know how close we are to the close of probation. When Turkey and Islam plant the tabernacles of his palace in Jerusalem, we will know that Daniel 12.1 is about to happen. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book.